So to solve this equation, the uh, best way to do it is to first get common denominators. And none of these are common denominators, but we can factor this guy. And now that's factored, we see that the pieces are all here. This one is just missing a 2m plus 1. This one is just missing a 2 out front. And if we add those two pieces, then this will be the same. So we're going to multiply this guy by 2m plus 1 over 2m plus 1. That way, we're multiplying it by 1. And we're not actually changing the fraction, just how it looks. And then this one, we're going to have to multiply the bottom by 2 and the top by 2. So there, there we are. Now that we have common denominators, uh, these guys can subtract because they both have the same denominator. So maybe let's expand this first. And so since we said now we can subtract, um, 30, uh, this is going to be 17 minus a 14. That's going to give us a 3 over here. And so again, since these denominators are the same, the only way this equation is going to be true is if 3 equals 34m minus 3, if the numerators are the same. Or you can think of it like this. Multiply both sides by 2 parentheses 2m plus 1, because that's a fair thing to do if you multiply this to every term. And if we multiply this to this term, it completely cancels out. If you multiply this to this term, it completely cancels out. So we'll be left with 3 equals 34m minus 3. You get that little equation to solve, uh, and when you get down to the answer, you should have m equals 6 over 34, which is uh, 3 over 17. Whoops, sorry, quick little correction here. This is, uh, this is supposed to be a plus 3, so that's a plus 3. When you subtract 3 from both sides, that's supposed to just give you 0 here, okay? So I dropped a sign on accident. Uh, when you subtract 3, when you solve this equation, Again, just the wrong sign there. When you solve that equation, you should get m equals 0.